Hey guys, welcome to my channel where we'll be discussing family, faith, hope, and love. I'm so glad that you joined me. Let's be fed daily bread. Are you hungry? to my channel I hope that this message find you doing well you have joined me on my digital journey I have been led by the Holy Spirit to drop your golden nuggets each and every day hello to my family and to my friends love you so much thank you for your support thank you for joining me on this digital journey if this is your very very first time tuning in go ahead subscribe to my channel and share it with your family and with your friends today is day 277 episode 277 the word for today is consume consume i was so so happy when i heard holy spirit loud and clear told me the reason why they don't believe me or trust me um, with what I was talked about yesterday about new possibilities or even giving God a chance um, something that I talked about in previous episodes is because they are consumed so what have you so consumed that you cannot literally take the necessary steps to do something that would be better for your life okay Scripture says in the book of First Samuel, I think it's Samuel, because I wanted to bring something to you in reference to consume. And that is First Samuel, I was correct, chapter 12, verses 25. And it says, But if you shall still do wickedly, you shall be consumed. But if you shall do but if you shall still do wickedly, you shall be consumed. Obviously, this was a message um, in reference to whatever was going on in that particular passage. But it specifically states that if you continue to do wickedly, you shall be consumed. Okay? What it is that have you using up your day? I know yesterday I was saying how busy I was, and, um, but I was making sure that I know that I had to do my, um, my episode and make sure that I'm doing something to make sure that God gets the glory. Check your schedule. Look, there's 24 hours in a day. Write it down. What are you doing between so-and-so? What are you doing between if you're at work? If you're, you know, at an event or whatever it is that you're doing, what has you so consumed? And if you don't know the meaning of consume, it means to waste, use up, um, of course, destroy. Um, what it is that is taking you away from your number one priority, which should be God. What has your day consumed with? Is it giving God the glory in any type of way? You can have your job consume you. You could be consumed by taking care of your kids. You can be consumed with a particular illness. You can be consumed with the people that are in your circle just calling you every five minutes about drama. You could be consumed with what's going on in the world on the news. Facebook consume you. Social media can consume you. What it is that you are doing in a 24-hour period that you don't have time for God, that you don't have time to study the Word, that you don't have time to memorize the Scripture here and there, that you don't have time to pray, that you don't have time to try to do what God has called you to do and to walk in a purpose that he has for you, which is great plans to have you to prosper, to give you hope, to give you a great future. What it is that is consuming you each and every 
every day. Holy Spirit wants you to take a good look. Today is day 277 for me. I'm consumed with the Holy Spirit. I'm not, you know, I won't even self say I'm consumed. I would just say I am just filled because it's not, um, it is not wasting away. This is not wasted time whatsoever. Um, this is not destroying anything. So I would not say that, but I am definitely not consumed with what is transpiring in the world. I'm more focused on what it is that I can do for God and what I can do to make sure that he gets the glory. And that also that I'm walking in the purpose that God has called me for. And I want the same for you. That's why I do my digital journey each and every day so that you have someone that you can see are doing the things that God has asked them to do. And I'm leading by example. Abraham led us by example. He was the father of faith. It is impossible to please God without faith. So please take the time to, to sit, ponder on whatever it is that has you consumed. Okay? Get rid of it. Replace it. Whatever it is that is not giving you anything that is bringing you into a position to bear fruit and do th kingdom work, reject it. I can guarantee you that it's not going to be worth your while. Eventually, it will fade away. It's not going to have any value to you whatsoever. I need you to know that the word of God proves to be true. And God is a shield to all of those, all of those who come to him for protection. So my question to you each and every day is, are you hungry? I know that I am. So let's be fed daily bread.